Hello everyone and welcome back to J Sang Let's Play as we are gonna need one line at the moment. Usually I do um Usually I do these kind of videos like um with the music and everything, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take you through a typical morning for me. <clears throat> I live in Tama. Well, I don't technically live in Tama, but I live. I use I vacation here. My vacation home is here. I have this blue four-year lark called the Cindy's Tama Steakhouse, where I live, where I collect my shit. That's kind of where I do kind of like my base of operations for my personal outings in PvP. I have a whole bunch of crap. I didn't have this when I started here. Um, this is all for me just picking up shit off the ground or out of space I guess in this game. All the loot. And um, I don't really have any ships here. I do have this comet that I will probably never I'll never take out because, oh my god, the kill marks. <laughs> it's just an incredibly lucky comet, and uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to leave it, you know, um, don't want to leave it, but, this Tristan already has two kill marks on it, so let's take this out. The Tristan is my go-to ship, I use it a lot, for everything, I don't care if it dies, and... Um, just, I don't care what happens to it, but I do get lots of kills for it, or because, with it, rather. I do get lots of kills, as long as I don't get, get come up with, uh, against something that's too crazy. I can kill whatever it is that, uh, I'm looking for. Um, that is a crow. A crow is an interceptor. So unless he's AFK, I'm not gonna be able to get him, and he's well within the radius of this warzor, so there's gonna be no bumping that guy off today. If he was out here, I would go for it, but we're not gonna do that. Let's go out to my safe spot and we'll see what's going on. Some of you may have know know me from out here. I this is my common hunting ground. Tama solar system. What I do in the morning is I scan for targets. Um, I put my put, put on hostile. I see there's a Garmer here at the novice. I circle down through all the things. I see there's a Mollus at the large with about four stabbers named Saber. That is not fun and that's not something that I want to necessarily fight. So I, what I do really is I sit out here and I look and I see if there's anything. Either there's something interesting that I want to fight when I go 360 scan. So there is an Incursus out here. Or there's someone actually somewhere in somewhere. There's a dragoon that's small now. That small is empty. The Incursus try is gonna go try to shoot the novice. Shoot the Garmer at the novice. That's either ill advised or um, they're together. It's most more more likely that they're together. And then you can usually figure out what's going on down there. If you just keep descanning in that general direction and you'll eventually see someone that ends up in a pod and someone that's still in their ship and now there's a dragoon down there that kind of tells me that maybe they're fighting on the outside I don't see any blinky yellows though there's another dragoon so you can you can tell a lot by sitting at a safe spot and looking at descan and Kind of getting a feel for how the system's playing out today. So we know that um, it's possible that all these people are together. In Curses, Dragoon, Dragoon, um, Garmer. 
Uh, if you don't find anything, you just go home and try again the next day. Or the next time you log on. Or maybe you'll go back and dock up and come back. The Dragoon. Armor's gone. Dragoons are still there. There's no one at this small. No one at this small. No one at the medium. No one at the medium. Large still has four stabbers in it. Dragoon, Dragoon, Garmer. No, it's small. No, it's small. Now, at this point, I'm going to check that 360D scan. Check it out. See if there's anything else out there. Then, Incursus is still out there. There's also a capsule. Two Dragoons. A Heron. Four Stabbers at the Large and the Mollus. The Heron's got Core Scanner Burbs out. At this point, sometimes I like to go and sit at small or novice or wherever's empty. Now the Garmer's back there. It tells me that there's some people moving around out here. I know that there's no at this small, so there's really no reason why I shouldn't go down there. So let's do that. Let's get our shit ready. Like I said, this thing, I don't give a fuck if this dies. This is, this is Tristan. Who, who fucking cares? It's just a Tristan. Um, but I want to die in a good fight, not a a gank or to a armor or to a daredevil or something like that. I just, I want to die in a good fight. That's it. So I'm going to go here and then kind of like, you know, just by being here, you just kind of announce your presence. And the groups of people will know that you're not supposed to be here and they will come and try to kill you. Now it just depends on who is going to come and try to kill me. At this point, orbiting at 30. Prop mod on. Get my shit in order here. Which is something like. Why is this all screwed up? Oh my god. that in order. Now I'm just gonna kind of orbit at 30, keep my D scan going, and see what's going on here. We got people um, showing good fights in local, so that must mean the Garmer was fighting something. There's a couple Dragoons there. Uh, the Garmer's in there. Those people were gone from that area, but don't uh, don't go peeking around the galaxy too much whenever you're in a plex because you want to see what's around you. So I like to sit here with my 1.0 1, 1 scan down on 360 degrees, orbiting the beacon at 30, and just see what shows up. Now. <clears throat> there are situations where if a kiter like a Garmer shows up, I can take him, but that situation is if I'm sitting zero on the beacon. So I see no one's coming yet. Every once in a while I'll flip it back to 15, 14, and then just take another look around by holding the V button. Dragging the armor there. Now that dragoon has to be on the outside of this plex because well, that that's the medium. The Garmer is now at the medium. Garmer is now at the medium, which means that the novice still has a uh, something on it. Dragoons are outside. Now I gotta figure out if I want to fight a dragoon. I look at it. I see it has drone damage. And I'm already aligning out. And here he is. Not a surprise. I do not want to fight a dragoon. A dragoon is pretty much just a big kestrel. I'm outclassed in this situation, so I'm just going to run. It's as easy as that. You avoid the fights that you don't want to take, and you take the fights that you do. And that's a fight that I don't want to take. I don't want, don't want to be messing with... Um, with two dragoons. Now I'm faster than dragoons. They could follow me to the sun, but they're not going to because I'm just going to go to my safe spot. 
and then I'm back on watch and I do this loop over and over again until I find something good. That's what I do. Now I'm going to go back, check out some stuff. Now on Algos, that's a little different. And Algos is something I actually can't take that actually now that I think about it. And the dragoon actually, or the, I know, now I know that the Garmer is with the two dragoons because they're all together. Um, at there, they're all warped in together. So I know that probably right now is not the best time to be out hunting right now. Because there is a group of people that's just going to outclass me no matter what I do. You know, if I was rich, space rich, I would just go out and get a stabber and fight them, but I would still worry about the armor, so I don't fight armors. I just don't. Or I try not to. I try not to fight armors, we'll say. I try not to fight armors and worms. Anything else that's a frigate, attack one frigate, I'll fight them. Assault frigates, I don't even bother because they're just going to kill me no matter what I do. I've tried to kill many assault frigates and um, Okay, now the novice is open. We're going to go into the novice this time. We're going to see if that Garmer chases us. I don't want the Garmer to chase us. I mean, I could try to kill the Garmer. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a low chance that I actually get to catch it. But I would have to catch it zero on the beacon. So, I guess I, I could try. Ain't no harm in that. I mean, those two dragoons can't come in here. So at this point, I might as well just, Garmer's coming in. He's going to try to chase me in here. So, my secret here, overheat this. See if he's going to come in. He might, he might not. Uh, overheat this. When I see him come in, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to spam my approach button. I'm going to spam this. I'm going to get my drones out. Here he comes. Approach, 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 approach. Hit that button. Approach, approach. Spam that, spam that, spam that. Overheat that. Try to get him. If I don't get him, I got him. I got him. As long as he doesn't drift out of scram range, which he did, which I got him again. I got him again. That could be a Garmer dead, people. That could very well be a Garmer dead. I'm just going to keep him at range at about 2500. I'm going to de-overheat all that stuff because I don't need it no more. Just keep approaching him. Keep approaching him. He's probably dead in the water, people. And there he goes. Not the Garmer dead. That's a Garmer dead. You can see how nervous I am because Garmers are crazy. I'm going to try to get the fuck out of here. Go, 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 go. Alright, that's episode one. Uh, Taraja Knotis, or I'm sorry, Raven Azul. Uh, that's a view to a kill. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.